Hey, what's going on everybody? I uh, just wanted to give you all a quick little update on this property that uh, I was initially projected to make about 10K if everything worked out perfectly. But as we all know, things never <laughs> work out perfectly. You know, the puzzle never fits perfectly in the spot. So uh, unfortunately, we've come across some, uh, this ended up being a probate deal uh, because the seller, she's, uh, things weren't officially probated to her. Like the property was willed to her, but it didn't go through the probate process officially. So now we're in the process of, me and the title company, we're trying to work with um, the seller and getting uh, death certificates and um, figure out the, the will situation, the probate situation. Hopefully we don't have to, or hopefully they don't have to go through that whole process. Um, Cause if so, more than likely they're not going to sell it. Cause that's a hassle and I believe. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting on the seller to hit me back with hopefully the documents and the dates of the deceased and uh, just go from there. Uh, so right now, uh, oh, well I did find a buyer finally um, for for 41,000 and the property's under contract for 36 and some change. So uh, just looking to make about 4,000 and some change um, after, once it's closed, you know, if there's no other hiccups <laughs> that arise. Um, so yeah, it, I mean, it's decent. I mean, it's something, you know, but of course I was hoping for that, for that 10,000, but I should have known that it, it was a lot of red flags when I was talking with him. First off, talking with him and finding out that there's two deceased, my next question question should have been, um, so when was the probate process? How many other heirs are there? Because there's two other sisters that are involved now. Um, a lot of stuff that I missed, but now I know, so I'm kind of glad it happened because this will never happen again, you know, so. Um, and it's not a bad situation, I mean, we'll just, it's just, some things that got that has to get handled and it will get handled um, I'm at a new title company too um, because the first one they were just not that professional during my closes and my um, sellers are starting to complain you know after the deal is done they get paid uh, three sellers have reached out to me in total now telling me that uh, they weren't really uh, accommodated like they should have been so um, I had to move around um, I found a another title company that's very investor friendly. My uh, my mentor actually uh, recommended me to them and sent like an introductory email, you know, just explaining how I was a good guy and everything. So they automatically trust me since they trust him and have done a lot of good business with him. So that was real cool. Um, but yeah, I will definitely keep y'all updated on what happens. Um, yeah with this deal so uh hopefully y'all are having a productive wednesday i just left work um so i'm about to go to work <laughs> about to get some uh trying to get some new leads probably scrub some uh craigslist postings and some section eight or go section eight lists to cold call um and then cook dinner but yeah, y'all have a great, great evening. Um, please share, subscribe, uh, comment, any questions or anything. All right, talk to you later.